Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. What happened last time? There was a guy going like this, and he was passing to another guy, and he was supposed to be the main threat. But psych, it was actually Mr. Googly Eyes that was actually the main guy that's supposed to be a threat. The most important thing is, he said to Isaki, you have the same eyes as me. Now, what does this mean? We're trying to figure out the strength of every player, right? And Isagi is so bland, he's self-proclaimed just an average dude. And I thought to myself, okay, there was a moment before where we passed and we saw like everything. His field of vision was crazy, like Aoi from Aoashi. I'm like, okay, so is this main power the ability to just pass his game sense, his field of vision? He can just kind of coordinate people just like the main character from Aoi, Aoashi. And then I thought to myself, but everybody's supposed to be a striker, so I thought be, everything is just about being offensive. But if it's the sake of getting a goal, I guess he could have that power too. So I'm kind of confused as to what's going on. But I guess we're trying to really focus on what kind of power Isagi might have. And it does seem like the ability to pass and just have a full range of vision that no one else does. So that he kind of knows where everyone is and therefore he can just make plays. I guess that's where we're going. Also, Gagamaru. Oh, goddamn. He goes deep. He has no care for his body. And he goes hard. And I love how it deadpan his voice is every time. Also, probably the most disappointing thing. And I think it's going to be a running gag. Raichi. Raichi is so fucking loud and obnoxious. He's like, yeah, it's Raichi time. And every time it happens, he does fucking nothing. And I think this is kind of like, they're leaning into it. I think they're trying to like make this a running gag. I hope not. Or maybe they're setting this up for a really epic moment when Raichi does pop up. I hope he will. I think everybody in our team will pop up one, one time or another. Uh, let's begin today's episode. Second half, 15 minutes in. We're, are we tied right now? This is the guy that acts like, uh, is getting him behind. I thought his power was thinking that, you know, other, like, his challenge is like a girl that's out of his league or something. Wasn't there, like, a whole thing about that? Ah, I don't know what was going on there. Nice one. He's covering him quite well, though. My ideas. What if I don't I have fucking no clue. I have no idea what's going on. But he's kind of saying it's it's about, you know, the field of vision and his ability to coordinate people on the field based on his vision. I get it, but Isagi, do you understand what's going on? Also, isn't Temple Monk's weapon just ability to never give up? Isn't that what he said? He just has strong willpower. He's the only one with a tangible weapon. A strong kick, right? That's, that's great. He has a strong kick. That's her biggest weapon. Should you be telling us your final plan right now? <laughs> okay. I feel like you shouldn't be telling us the plan, like, play by play at this most crucial moment. He's gonna go all out? Alright, sure. Uh, he's like, you should have been running back with him. Alright, cool. Everybody's moving up. But that means if they are able to pick him off, just one person gets the ball or intercepts a pass, it's over. Because everybody's moving up. I guess their goalie is still in that. Maybe the goalie should come out too, man. His eyes turning again. Whenever this happens, right? It's serious time. Will the goalkeeper be able to do something? The goalkeeper hasn't done shit. This guy hasn't told us his powers, and he refuses to. Goalkeeper, please! <sighs> My man, you've let every goal in do something! Or oh, Isagi's here already? Someone stops him. Isagi's already. No, it's a pass. That's the race striker. Goalkeeper, come on. Oh, yeah. When you, when the goalkeeper has the look in his face, it's fucking over. You're, you're saying it's over. You have no belief in yourself. Isagi's there, though. Somehow. That's him, right there. How? Because. His field of vision, his ability to read, right? Epic steal. Nice one, nice one. He was able to read him. So, that's what he said before too. His ability to smell the goal. I just felt like that was the right place to pass. The one guy that can counter you and you tell your entire plan, you're acting fucking... How could he have done that? Also, whenever the guy that always hides their, you know, their eyes, the moment that you can see their eyes, means it's kind of over for them, I guess. That's like, yeah. Or it's like, it's the other complete opposite scenario too, where if you get to see the eyes, somebody that never gets shown, it's like serious moment for them too. Oh, the animation in this show is crazy, especially how they deal with the eyes. 
Everybody was so attacking. They're already back defending? Nice one. Who's going to get the final goal? I want Isagi to get the final goal. Come on. Bachira's dribbling. Oh! <laughs> Breaking everybody's ankles. Got to look at that. Pass two. Gagamaru! Kozi! Another one? It was a fake out. It was a fake out. It wasn't for him. Gagamaru still went for it. Isagi! Kill it. Kill it. That's our main character. Now act like one. He's got to get it. Ooh, damn. He's really looking like a main character right now. That's right. Even if he can pass a snip out goal. Oh, that kid. That volley was sick. Again, the animation goes so fucking hard when it needs to. It's over. I mean, the j even like right now, like downtime animation. It's just so crisp. It just like stands out so much. But whenever they do the concentric circles in the eyes and it gets like the flames going on, it looks so good. I'm sorry, guys. This is the nature of competition. Yeah, you did. Everybody's like down crying. My, my dream. <laughs> my dream of playing soccer for Team Japan. It's over. It's like I crushed everybody's dream. Yeah, there are losers and there's winners in competition. This is so overly dramatic, but I love it. So, do you feel sorrow? Do you feel pity? Or do you feel a level of prestige? A level of... It feels good. It's crushing your dreams. Let me see those fucking tears. Oh, everybody's eating steak now. Yes. We don't have to share it. We can eat the entire thing. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> the entire team is sharing two sticks. <laughs> yeah, I guess not everybody gets the points, right? It's people who gets uh people who score goals, they get a lot of points, I think. <laughs> Come on, you're eating Kagamaru steak! <laughs> These two seems to have an ongoing thing going on. Like the that kid always like he's just bothering Gagamaru. He just wanted to take a shot and took a chance. I guess what's even more amazing is how Bachira was able to pass there if Isagi is saying it just felt like being there. So I guess this is a little different than now that I think about it. Like, before it was Isagi passing because he had the great field of vision to know where other people is able to be to score. But here he positioned himself to get the pass. That's, a, that's actually different. Good job. This guy's still such an outcast. He's not integrating with the team and he still won't tell us his strength. I guess they're going to save him for the future. I guess he's an important character. He's so excited. Is he going to get up? Maybe start practicing? Walk around? And then we make that uh, the red hair guy and then we're going to get to know more about him? Yeah, you crushed him. And they were all crying and you're like, oh, this feels so fucking good right now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> more tears, more despair. Let me hear your cries. It, I mean, uh, if you're openly mocking people's dreams being crushed. Oh, he's doing film study by himself at this hour. What's up with Chigiri? He doesn't say anything. He doesn't want to be friendly with us either. I don't know. What are you about? Yes. So that's been, again, it's been hinted. The guy with the bangs told you. Your vision is insane, man. This field of vision is just omnipotent. It's just everywhere. You can see the entire field as if you're doing like a bird's eye view. So this is kind of like Awashi. Pretty much. It's the same power. It's... Eh. It is, but... I don't mind. It's not a bad thing. It's just... Feels kind of funny because we're just coming off of a season that had Aoashi that had the same powers of, you know, just omnipotent vision, spatial awareness. A right? An injury? That's a huge injury. ACL tears are no joke. Wait. This guy's on his, like, last stand right now. He used to have a weapon, but it's gone? A bird with their wings cut off. But he still joined Blue Lock. This is like a redemption arc for him. Damn, he has a mental block. 
But I wonder what his power was, his weapon. It's gotta be something crazy. Maybe they're intentionally nerfing him because he's so OP without the nerf. Don't give up, man! I know nothing about you, but come on, this is like only like episode 4 or 5! You can do it! You can do it! This is a pretty heartfelt moment for these two. Damn! Fulfill your dream, man. Don't give up, Chihiri! Well, yeah, no shit. I mean, this is like our first conversation. <laughs> Come on, you gotta be so cold! It, yes, but also it's good because Isagi is like a playmaker kind of style too. The goalkeeper, I have no clue what's gonna work with him. I, uh, Temple Monk, you have been upstate since episode one. Yeah, one goal. One goal, baby. That's all you needed. Now people, they're like, oh my god, we gotta fucking compete with this guy. It's good though. We're forming as a team. Except Shigiri. Shigiri is the one person that's, you know, doing his own thing. You're the one that came out of the zero! His eyes are flashing again. It's that rivalry is important. That rivalry is so important to you know force everybody to want to be better. Good job, he's like, good job. That's another episode of Blue Lock. So I guess we've gotten it officially out there what isaki's strength is i think everybody was kind of on the on the fence of like yes it's vision i guess it's field vision it is it is but it's not just his ability to pass because that's what i was kind of worried about it's like ugh, if he's just gonna be like a playmaker or a passer that's kind of boring because the whole point of blue lock is like ultimate striker we want to get the ultimate striker we saw at the end where bachita passed isagi right he was in position to strike so that power of field vision right the field of vision on on the field the vision on the field it's able to get him goals to become a striker that kick at the at the beginning that 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 first half oof, that was so good that was so good and i guess going forward we'll get to figure out what chigiri's power is because the fact that they're holding him out this far and intentionally showing him that he uh, he had an injury this probably means he's super special and they're probably nerfing him because his power is so op or unique that's my guess but we'll see what happens but hey if you stick around the song and then if you enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps the youtube i'll go push up my small channel to recommend this one that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors until next time guys take care